Hi everybody, this is Vitorials. Welcome to this unique collaboration between two Adobe applications. First of all, we are going to create this cubic grid inside Adobe Illustrator and then we are going to import it inside Adobe XD and create this uh, corporate web page that you can immediately share to your client and show you showcase your work. The reason why I choose Adobe XD is because uh, it's easy to create this kind of uh, photo grid uh, here it's easy to update and share and uh, you can also apply some logic and add some interaction to that but first thing first let's start with our Adobe Illustrator go and create a new document go to file new I'm gonna size this document with 19 20 and 10 80 click create the as always I'm gonna uh, turn off align to pixel grid and increase the row size of my left so everybody can see them properly and uh, Also, I want to go to the view and uh, Make sure that my sm smart guides is turned on. It's very important when we're going to create this grid Last my preparation step. I'm gonna grab this colors and throw it on my new artboard and maybe lock them here on my new layer i'm gonna grab my line segment tool double click on it in open dialog box i'm gonna set the length of my line segment tool to 25060 and uh, angle to 90 degrees and click ok then i need to align this line horizontally to the left and vertically to the center but before aligning uh, horizontally my line we need to make my uh, colors invisible so i want to toggle visibility of my first layer and then align it to the left then i want to open the move dialog box by clicking on double clicking on selection tool here i want to set horizontal position to 100 pixels and vertical position to zero and click check preview and click copy in order to achieve this copy then i want to control d command d to make a bunch of lines here that divided my artboard into the columns then i want to go to the line segment tool again double click on the uh, line segment dialog box here i want to set uh, angle to 30 uh, degrees and click ok click ok again in order to achieve this align it to vertically to the top align it horizontally to the left and we have this line I want to actually move it to the top holding shift key to move to the straight line I want to move it to the top left corner then go to my move dialog box by double clicking on selection tool here I want to set horizontal value to 0 and vertical value to 115.4 pixels click copy to move my line downwards and then Ctrl D Command D to create a bunch of duplicates here. As you can see, these duplicates is going to the left. So I want to align my I want to align all of them, selecting to the center horizontally, like so. I'm pretty happy with this result. Then I want to double click on my land segment tool again and set the uh, angle to 330 de degrees and click OK. Now click OK again, open the dialog box again in order to create this line. And I want to align it, well I actually want to benefit from my smart whites and place it right in this intersection so it's uh, kind of divides all of these 
our rectangles into the triangles like so I use my Control plus command plus to scale my artwork and place it like so use down arrow and up arrow keys to adjust the placement well I am satisfied with this result and I want to uh, go to the move dialog box again set the vertical value to 100 15 and 0.4 pixels and click copy to make a copy and then make a bunch of copy with Ctrl D command D. So we have this kind of uh, grid and uh, we need to grab select all of them. I want to just use my magic wand tool to select all of them. Then I want to go to the shape builder tool and I'm going to create sides of my cubes. This is my first cube, this is my second cube. I also want to create the cube with this line on bottom. This is my third cube, this is my fourth cube. And I also want to create a cube that is uh, sitting on top. So i done with that. And I can delete all unnecessary stuff. And last step is to recolor, give it a color. And for doing that I want to select all of the roofs of these uh, cubes. Holding shift key select all of your roofs and give it this uh, color then I want to select all of my sides here all of my left sides and give them this uh, green yellow color and last, uh, lastly I want to select all of these sides and give this very dark greenish color so our last step, let me delete all of this branding because now we need to import our, I'm sorry, export our SVG file. So we have this kind of uh, cubicle grid and we go need to go to the file, export, export for screen and here in the export option you can set a name let's say it's grid i want to set prefix to none i want to set suffix to none and i want to set uh, export and outboard let me preview this uh, grid so as you can see we have this perfectly vector svg file that is ready for import inside Adobe XD and if you need your SVG to be optimized for web uh, has a, a clean code follow it to all W3C consortium rules always choose this option import for screens inside your Adobe Illustrator software so this is basically the end of our tutorial if you like it please share it with your friends give a thumb up subscribe to my channel and I want to thank you for following to the end and have a nice day.